problem with liars. I have a problem with people who tell bullshit. I covered college sports for over a decade. So I know the schedules for pregame, halftime, postgame. They provide these schedules. They tell you when teams are on the field. They tell you when uh, or on the court. They tell you when they're supposed to come out. Like, you know this as a former college basketball player there's a schedule okay kim mulkey's a fucking liar and her lying about why they weren't on the court for the national anthem in a regional final game is an absolute embarrassment it's an embarrassment now let me stop for a second i'm gonna say something in positive on her behalf there was an article written by the la times where they a writer who obviously is cheering for you at ucla before the ucla game did an article where he compared the LSU women's team, called them dirty debutantes. I had no idea what the fucking hell that meant. I had no clue. Because I, I know what a debutante is. I don't know what a dirty one is. I, I, you know, and she says, look it up. It was sexist, blah, blah, blah. She was a thousand percent right. Um, and they compared it to UCLA, who was milk and cookies. So it was good versus evil, bad, good guy versus bad guy, villain and all that shit. However... When you Google dirty debutantes, what's the first link that pops up? Porn. I don't know if you guys know that, but it's porn. Like I'm talking to myself on two black screens right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I'm, I'm like, Rudy, I'm sorry. You know, I got this little code going on, so I don't okay. want everybody okay. to see that. I'm all sorry. Right. But, it's porn, but it's porn. So if you Google dirty debutantes, all the links are porn sites. Hey. That's that's despicable. And I, But I'm, I'm going to sit here and say that I, I doubt this old white guy from L.A., had any idea that the first, that the, the entire page as Google Nick Googles it <laughs> um, had any, I, I have I, I don't think he had any idea that that's what would come up on a Google search for, for, for that term. However, that's what it was. The LA times apologized. He apologized. They even edited oh. the story out. <laughs> that said, she was a thousand percent right in that oh. case. In this case though, where she's sitting here lying in the post game press conference about why Oh. Her team was not on the floor during a national anthem of a regional final game. Oh, bro, you, you, yeah, you see it, right? Um, that is like sitting. Can you imagine an NBA team is not on the floor for the national anthem of a playoff game? Okay, Nick, enough already. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm done. I'm but, done. but can you imagine an NBA team's on the floor for for a playoff game and the national anthem? They're on the floor for the national anthem all the time. Why is it that this woman sits here and lies and says, "Well, I had no idea when it was played." I didn't even know the when the national anthem was sung, bro. That's a lie. I've been in I've been in multiple or ever I've been in many arenas. I've been there as media member. I've been there as a fan. I've been in the seats. I've been in the concession stands. I've been under the building doing getting ready for a game. Various things. There's a schedule given to the media. The coaches have that schedule. They Rudy. know exactly when everything is being done. Rudy. She's lying. Rudy. She flat lied, and it's disgusting because it's a horrible fucking example. Just say the truth. Your girls don't want to be out there for the national anthem because if that's what it is, just say it. But you're lying. You look stupid. Flat out, what you just described is mad disrespectful because whether you believe in the country or you don't believe in the country, there's certain etiquette, and there's no WNBA team that's going to be in the locker room during the national anthem. So get used to being a fucking adult for a second and stop being a fucking diva and lying about shit and start teaching your players some level of respect and decorum. There's so many things that go on with LSU's basketball program that are absolutely despicable. Whether it's the nonstop, nonstop fucking taunting that they do, there's trash talking. Trash talking, I'm cool with that. There's taunting, though. There's mad taunting. Oh. And, it, and it, mm, mm, nah, I know you, you, you want to be fake with it, Nick. There's they do shit that if men did that to men, there'd be fist fights. A lot of fist fights. Men do that to men all the no, time. They Rudy. Don't. No, they do yes, not. They do. And you you will never sit here. Outside of Draymond Green, players do not do what the LSU basketball team does. And I attribute that to their coach because she's the worst of all. She's a liar and she says shit and she flat out says, 
I didn't know. And you know what? That's uh, a lie. Louisiana, she said it. No, I said, no, no, I said that's a lie because and, uh, it's, it, it's literally, I play professional sports and I play sports, you know. It's, 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 it's right on the fucking, it's right on the fucking walls as all throughout the locker room just so you can know, okay, damn, I got five minutes before this, 10 minutes before this, 10 minutes before this. So you fucking know. That's what fucking so, lie. So the true story is that a reporter from the Baton Rouge newspaper, Chelsea Bush, from the Baton Rouge op- uh, Open, or what was it? I don't know what that says. I can't read my handwriting. She said, I've covered this team for three years. They're never on the floor during a national anthem. Ever. Ever. In fact, the a- associate AD for LSU, Cody Worsham, clarifies and says, it is a procedure program-wide with the men also leaving the court for the national anthem. So what you have as a school is the most disrespectful school from the athletic director down. It's a, it's unbelievably disrespectful. Show some fucking decorum, and I'm sure people will blast me and say, fuck it, I don't care about the national anthem. Well, you know what? Fuck you too. Because at some point, there's some level of decorum that you should instill in athletes who want to be pros enough of this damn shit where you sit here and lie about stuff and think people are dumb i'm not dumb you're not dumb and you're and i've been in the locker room and i can hear it playing she lies no she lies and she wants people to feel sorry for her the you whole the whole the whole nas- the whole national anthem thing if you don't stand do it stand on business i don't care if, if you out there or not you you have a thing for it where you think that you definitely have to be out there i'm on the well, other i don't even i don't even think uh, they should play it quite frankly just uh, half the people in the building disrespect it so so, so it should but, be, but, but, but dude if so, you're if they play it you are required to be out there no i don't, I don't, think, give I don't a think, shit. think i don't think because you have to even, even the concession stands stop in I don't, every arena during the national anthem. I don't think you have to be required to be out there for it. I, if you if you choose to do it, you choose not to. It, it's all good. It, it, I don't mind either way. Do your thing. Come out there. Do your thing. What? I, I, what I came here to see you play basketball, Rudy. I didn't come here to. Oh, you know what? I don't care. And you I know what? I didn't come here. Dis- I, didn't come right. here, I didn't come here to see if you stand up for the anthem or not. That's not what I came here for. That's a whole different political thing that we're getting into. The whole no, we're not going to political thing because because there's something there's something there's something called respect. When you were a kid in when you were a kid in school, did you have to stand to greet your principal? Yes, I did in my school. Maybe your school didn't, but I'm pretty sure you, I'm I pretty sure it did. Because in every school, as I, I my mom was a teacher for 33 years. We never had any time the principal walked into the classroom, the kids in the classroom I'm talking about elementary school kids, I, not I, fucking high school kids. I, I don't remember that shit, Rudy. You don't Be remember honest. it because you don't remember high school because you were high the whole time. I know. I know. I, I never did. I never did any of that stuff till I never did any of that. You had to stand and greet your principal. Rudy. You, you, it's a respect thing. We have no respect in this fucking country. I get that. The respect in, the, in this country as a whole is gone. But you have a liar for a leader. She's a liar. And she can sit here and make up a bullshit excuse and say, I didn't even know. Bullshit. You've been doing it all year. Yeah, we, have I, a routine, I, we have a routine. So your routine is to disrespect. So I that, have... gives, that gives me, that makes you understand why that program is how that program is. So, that makes you understand why those players are how they are. Because it starts from their leader. Their leader's a piece of shit. They, their leader's a liar. She might be a great fucking coach. She is a great coach. Even though they, she didn't do, I don't think she did the greatest job against Iowa. She's a great coach. But she, but man, oh, and that hit piece that never came out, it wasn't a hit piece. It was a profile about how miserable she was. Yeah. So I wonder if she's going to retract her, I'm going to hire the lawyer, blah, blah, blah. Get the fuck out of here. You're a miserable person. We know this. We know this. You're miserable. You hold grudges against everyone that's ever said no to you in your life. The word no for you makes you hate people. Guess what? And you're teaching your players that the word no is a bad word. And and you know what? It's no wonder her older players fucking hate her guts. Angel Reese didn't leave this program to go declare for the NBA draft because she's ready. She left because she can't stand her coach. I don't think that. I think she actually likes her coach. She was suspended by that coach for four fucking games. She was suspended as a captain of a team. As the captain of the team. She was suspended. But we don't know what happened else. I know what happened. I've read read so many things on what. It could could have been so much worse. And she probably saved her. 
Probably. Damn bullshit. Probably. Saved her. Saved her. And she comes to Angel the Fist a lot. On, she shits on her. She comes to Angel the Fist a lot. All right, man. But really, hold on, hold on, hold on. I heard that the Yukon and I heard that the Yukon and uh USC pl- um didn't come out for the anthem either. Is that true? I don't know. I I, I don't know. Oh, I, I have no idea. The, I, so, I don't so, know. So if they didn't, how would you feel about that? Is it or it's just because she if lied? They both, because if they she both lied. Because you're lying about it. Okay. If they both didn't do it, then that's that's they're okay. both not there. Okay. But if one team is out there, and I, again, it's not required in college basketball. Yeah. Because we don't require college kids to do anything. Because God okay. forbid you require a college pl- athlete to act like a fucking adult, for which they are adults, making millions of dollars now. Because when they go to the next level, they don't have the option. They don't have the option. You're out there. I've watched LeBron James at his son's games sit on the bench while the anthem is playing. But when he's, which mean, which I'm sure he'd want to do, want to do in the NBA too, but when they play, he's out there and he's standing. This is part of your job when you go into WNBA. We have to remember that you're training people to become adults, or I'm sorry, they're already adults. Train them to be good adults. People have definitions of that. And I think the one thing that we have is we've lost in the society is the most basic form of respect. The most basic form of respect that I talked about last week, where if I threw my fucking watch in your face on the street, you'd punch me in my fucking mouth. But, I, and, but if and, I did, but if I'm a 22 year old football player and I do it to a head coach of another football team, and he can't do anything because the only person that will have a problem after, if he does that is the coach. This is what I'm. Ta- it's just a basic form. Of respect and rivalry games in rivalry games uh, and just to the point of that one in rivalry games it get it get a lot it gets heated. Have you ever one time, Nick? Ever one time seen a player, any player, during a head coach, head coach shaking hands at the end of the game, go into the face of the head coach of the other team while it's being done? The answer is no. No, but you've never seen that. And I never. And most coaches don't have their son playing for that team. Exactly. So, and that fucking guy won't oh, fucking set his kid straight for so once in his it's, life. It's a lot more. It's a lot more into it. It's a lot uh, more. Yeah, it. I know. He's an enabler. He's, he's enabled this kid. You're playing for your dad. You, dad, yeah. you feel like your dad's being disrespected. You, you're going to disrespect you, the other person. You don't, no, you don't. Because your dad should have fucking sense to tell you that you don't do that. You, you, it's a football game. Yeah, it's, it's a football, football game. game. And, he didn't, dis- and, and he didn't disrespect him. And he said he's, he's building a team the wrong goddamn way. And, and a whole I'm cutting 65 players. And a whole... That kind of was disrespectful to go and talk about somebody else's team that has nothing to do with you. They all do it. Every fucking game. You know who talks shit about Deion Sanders? Nick Saban. Did Shador Sanders go to Nick Saban and flash a watch in his face? I, Fuck no. Yes. No, he did not. He should. No, he did they not. Play no, he should. He, he didn't yeah. play against him. All right, all right, boss, man. You, you know I'm that's just, bullshit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know the, that's bullshit. I'm just saying. In the, in the, in back, in the, long as as long as they're not touching each other and hitting anybody or punching anybody. All right, it's, it's, all right, all right, if, I, if I show you my watch, okay, whatever, whatever. Oh, oh but remember, remember when you said it was okay to flex? It was a problem when that girl flexed on Flage and she touched not, that girl. Not there are consequences. And you had a problem. You had a problem with Camila Cardozo body slamming fucking no, Flage. No, I said Keep uh, your mind. There's consequences mind. that come with it. They're, they're, yeah. And you wanna, what, was, what, was the, what, was, what was the what was the consequence that happened with Shadur Sanders with fucking D? With that situation, none. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, you, you know, my bet right now, and I'll put, I'll put a hundred on it right now, and I'll, and I'll hold on it. Shador Sanders is going to the Dallas Cowboys. No way. Deion Sanders will be coaching the Dallas Cowboys in two years, next year. No way. He will be on the staff. No way. Mark it down. All right. I'll bet you hundred bucks. I'll take hundred bucks. I'll take that bet. He'll be on the Dallas staff next year because he wants to dictate where his son goes. You said head He's coach. Gonna, I said head coach on oh. the staff. Okay. He'll be on the staff. Because no that way. kid has never been coached by anyone but his dad. No way. All right, man. I'll take that bet. bet you're, a prof- you're a professional football player. Bet if, the shit, if the shit that he does in college is done in a, an NFL locker room, the captain of that football team will split his shit. Yeah, that, that's up to them. You know, yeah, that's up to him. You're right. It's up he's to never them. experienced that because he's never been checked in his life as a been, football he's player. He's been a leader of the team. He's been, no, he's been coddled by his daddy. That too. But I left the fucking topic. Kim Mulkey, you're a fucking liar. Do better. 
be better because you know what? We're not dumb. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Come on now the podcast, please be sure to subscribe, like comment and ring that bell. So you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at come on now podcast and X and TikTok at come on now pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.